growing up, I didn't have the opportunity to have a black doll Which because so there sad. was no black doll. But but so basically, having a white doll in the house is definitely conditioning young girls to believe that they should actually be like that or idolise long hair with blue eyes. It's just like... But people know I spend that, their money. That's, that's the one. one. <laughs> store yeah. and ask me why have I only got like black dolls in the window. Kadisha, Kadisha. and you are tuned into another episode of the Kadisha Kadisha show and today on my show I'm really excited because I'm down here at the Monero boutique down in Boston Road yeah I'm gonna be talking to the CEO I'm gonna be talking about the dolls themselves the Monero dolls and yeah stay tuned hey okay I'm with the proud owner Miss Sandra <laughs> he's gonna actually take me on a little mini tour around the boutique yeah. so we can see what's here what's in store for you guys <laughs> Take you on my little guided tour. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about this. This is something that I would have loved to have when I was young. Like literally. Tell me about this. Definitely. Crap. This came in like a few weeks ago, like a styling head. Now, when I was growing up, I grew up like on like Barbie, and I yes. only had blonde hair, blue eyes. Yes. yes. Doesn't look like me at all. No. Not at all. Black <laughs> hair, brown yeah. eyes. So but having this now, this was like the number one seller for Christmas. Oh really? Looking totally like different. Wow, can we dark, it up? yes. Look at dark, this guy. Look colour. at this guy. Absolutely. This dark has with. a crown, it has everything. I mean so it's a styling head then. It's a styling head like you would get like what Barbie does and there's one that's on its way with an afro. Yes. That's the what I was gonna ask you about because the texture of hair is still it's still kinda <laughs> European. Yeah. It is European. Yeah. But bear in mind we do get like some black people with nice natural True. good. But who's to say hair. afro hair ain't nice though? It is nice. Yeah. But we do have the ones that they call like the texture. Oh, different. really? You know when you get like different like kind of like textures, you get like the afro, yeah. you get like maybe the silky one, and then you get the afro kinky, kinky yeah. kind of one, because there's it's different textures, different So how much would this be? Like this. this is 15 pounds. One five. One five? One five. One five. Not like how the other 15 pounds! That's a bargain. It is a bargain. So just because like it's black, it doesn't have to be expensive. Because honestly, if you see this in a shop, it's more money, you know. It's so a ethnic lot of money. dolls, it's exactly. actually more money. Fifty. But pounds. I'm trying to like get the price down to get it affordable so everyone can have one in their That's home. That's amazing. Okay, so what else we got? This looks so realistic. She's you can gorgeous. Go that, actually. She is like gorgeous. She's my little favourite favorite. This is little Look at Kayla. the way she's dressed. <laughs> Look at her. Just take a good. I know they all have names as well. This they is have, Kayla. This Tell is me Kayla. about her. Well, Kayla is a gorgeous little thing. Yeah. Um, she's one. Uh, she's one of like my supplies that supply me right. um, uh, and I really really just love how colourful she is and look her little afro she actually has one. she even has our noses and she our features our noses, our proper that's what like black people yes. do with our noses. and we are proud we are very proud to say that we've got like her yeah. and that is more of the look alike as like for young Do you know what? Children. I feel so excited to be here because growing up honestly I didn't see any of this man I didn't see I just saw Blonde hair, blue eyes, and that's all I was bought for Christmas. Well, so. well I grew up on Barbie. Well, yeah. Barbie and well, there Cindy. you go, yeah. Cindy was the ballerina one, and I wanted to be have to be a ballerina. <laughs> yeah. Barbie, obviously, blonde hair, blue eyes, and I said to my mum, you know what, mum, I want to be like Barbie. So my mum was telling me, wait a minute, you know you're black, right? Yeah, yeah. I said, yeah, mum, I'm black, but I want to have her hair. No, you've got black and you've got brown eyes. Thinking eyes. about that the other day, about um, not having these dolls in the house, and that's what I want to get to when I speak to you, but isn't that part of the condition in the mind for kids? Anyway, like you said, you wanted to have the long hair and blue, like when you're growing up. Is that because maybe that was all that was on, on offering the home? Well, you absolutely. To, you know, if you're not seeing your own self as a dolly in the house, you're gonna wanna be well, what you're playing with and, and idolize absolutely. what you play with. I wanna be, I wanted to be Barbie up until a <laughs> long age. I wanted. It was so bad the fact if I used to have like cardigans. I don't know about you. Yeah. I used to have cardigans on my hair. And I used to like. No to put Do you it see two, what I mean? I used to put it like in two bunches because that is how desperate I wanted to look so like. So imagine on adverts we've got that, we've got it on, on cartoons that we watch, Disney was full of that, and then we have like mum buying us a dolly in the house looking like that. What do you expect us to think? Well, I'm gonna go why I'm I would not if if my mum had bought me like a black doll from yeah. an early child and grew up with it, yeah. that is what I know. Of course. But if I if it was only like Barbie 
Then it's only Barbie and Cindy. That's that, it. Was, that was all that was in my house. <laughs> I didn't have it. that. Tell a lie, I won't lie. Yeah. We had like the gollywog on the jam jar, Robinson. Oh, I heard about them. I, <laughs> I, I, that's to tell you um, how Gully old walk, I am. You know. I had that and I would not eat jam. Wow. Because I was scared that it was not nice. Imagine, I could not understand what the gollywog and the jam. Yeah, what, what, what the hell? I could not find the combination. You see that thing on the jam and I said, you know what, mum? No. no. That's why today I don't like jam. It's, I prefer marmalade. <laughs> no, seriously, I would have yes. never, ever got like with that. Never. Marmalade is me. I did, not like, I did not like jam and I was scared. You know, literally. Yeah. Like, you you know, see literally. how much not having a doll that looks like us in the household can actually go against us, honestly. I'm psychologically damaged. Actually. Yeah, like, seriously, <laughs> same. Like, when I see that, I get frightened. I run. I do Who run. else you got? Run. Oh, her head a We've bit. We've got like another little like softy hair. She okay. is the number one seller in my boutique. Really? Definitely. How much is she going for? She's going for like £25. Wow. I even get different. I get teachers that come here to do it as to learn play. Yeah. You know, and they just learn love it it's soft everybody nice. should have so in terms of um people that are purchasing these is it just colored people that are purchasing or is it all different it's all different but i must say that i get more of the non-black that comes like into really? my store i do i get quite a lot of the non-black um individuals and i don't know if it's because like they're in like a biracial like relationship because i get quite a all lot right. of the, like the white women that will come here okay, okay. and they will purchase this for their child yeah. or they've got like family members that's that's me. Yeah. I do get like quite, I do get a few of the black ones, I'm not going to lie, but they will come in and they will moan. Exactly. Moan about moan. what? The price? The price. What? Well, What's wrong about the black people? No. Do you know what? what? You, know, you need to do better. Yeah? Is, we need to do better. Do. Seriously. That I is don't what understand. It's all some issue. They will always want like a discount. Yeah. I even had one did ask me, well, what does the doll do for that price? And this was a gentleman, and I had to ask him, what do you want the doll to do for, for that, £25? Yeah. Pounds? So he looked at me, so I said, is the doll for you, or is the doll for a, like, a younger person? Because as it's for a child, they could be creative. But they're going to Toys R Us or somewhere and not ask these questions. Black people never. just need to do better. Support black businesses. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Sharp. Yeah. <laughs> so what else we got? What else do we have like here? If we're moving like softly around yeah. like here, I just want to like show Ooh, you. Oh, I could say, wait, 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 wait. Hold up, what wait a minute. These key rings, yeah? These look oh, these like are earrings. beautiful. These, these are, are, oh my gosh. But oh my God, they come beautiful. like little key rings and How much are these? Those are 550. Because I am buying mine today. I'm going to show on camera that I'm buying something today. I want this for my key today. This exactly. is amazing. Who's who's idea? Um, it's a lady, another one of my suppliers yet again. Um, she saw me like on Instagram. She came down and wow. she liked the look of my shop. Yeah. And she wanted to know that if she can have like some of her stuff. So this is here. both for adult either, isn't it? Adult, More. children. Yeah. But like you get the ones like from seven years upwards. Right. That have and their own they have thing. Yeah. And they'll put it on like their little, they put it on their bag and yeah. they, you know, they have it on their bag and they're like, oh, really that's happy lovely. About that. Look at me. They are gorgeous. They are like the yeah. best sellers. Cute little key rings. Whereas before we wouldn't have had a key ring no, like that. Of course that. not. Like never. We never. still ain't got them in big stores. Well, we still, still haven't, haven't got them. So you know. Well, these are like my best products um, that I have. I have them like from like a supplier, right. and they cover the whole of the Caribbean. As you know, there's 26 Caribbean islands yes. from like Saint Lucia, Jamaica. Where's the Jamaica one? Okay. Jamaica, Jamaica. Represent. Uh, that. <laughs> well, uh, and then the Saint Lucia one is obviously all like sold out. Mm -hmm. From here, we have like the little booties as well. Okay. Okay, so tell me about this. Yeah, um, it's the same suppliers who actually like make like these clothing as well, like the bodysuits, the t-shirts, right? And they do like you know their um little booties. So with this particular like doll, yet again from the Caribbean, Jamaica, and what I supply, I cover like the whole of the Caribbean, the twenty six islands. Wow. Okay. So what people have been doing as well, <laughs> yeah, they've been doing like requests. So, you know, say, like, I could have my dad is, like, from Jamaica and my mum is, like, Ghanaian. Yeah. And then you have both of, like, the countries in, in one. What? Exactly. So, I could have, like, Jamaica hair and Dominica in a bottle. Yeah. And also, <laughs> and if you was born, like, in London, you'll have the Union Jack as well. What? Three, so, so you have, like, three in one. I want to know about the Monero dolls. That's, that's 
where the Manera where are they? dolls. If you have two of them like here. Wow, okay. The other one. There's three of them. Honey Hi. is unwell at the moment. She's at home like with the flu, so hence why there's only like two of them. Right. This is Ellie. She represents like my mum. And this is Harley D. So Harley D is sort of like a character. Um, me and it could have been like if I had a daughter, I always said that I wanted to name her like Harley D because wow. I'm a fan of Harley Davidson motorbikes. Okay. I'm in love with that. Right. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's a thrill. I've been on it once. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so tell me about that because I've been seeing them traveling on Instagram, going to Brixton. Like, what? You need to check out one year old dolls. Um, BT, you need to check it out because these not go travelling, trust me. Tell they me about go travelling so, and basically... How much are these? They're £21 because I make the clothes myself. I actually make, yes, I make the clothes myself. Okay. This doll, could they, could that's St Lucia? Because mm -hmm. I'm St Lucia. Okay, um, pick up yourself, St Lucia course, people. <laughs> first i'm like st lucia yeah so i'm 100 percent st lucia mm -hmm. but unfortunately i was born here had to be someone had to be born here yeah so i've noticed the st lucia girl's got um different type of hair though she's got wearing... different type okay of okay hair. and the reason for the reason for that is because even though that i'm wearing weave yeah. and i'm proud of wearing weave yeah. I my texture of my hair is like this, right? And I don't like saying the word. If my dad was alive, he would like shoot me the word coolie. Yes, but that's okay. the only way. That yeah, I yeah. and there's like quite a lot in that country. Right. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> yeah, there is. There's, there's a mixture. lot of us like mixed. Yeah. So my dad had like good textured hair. That's okay. A, that's a bit Just say it's pretty yeah. hair. You call yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Just say pretty, pretty hair. hair. <laughs> so I've got like pretty hair. So hence why Harley D basically has, has that got kind like of that kind of texture okay. like kind of hair yeah and at the end of the day if i had a daughter i'm sure that she would have pretty hair yeah as well. well there you so go <laughs> she represents like me and the daughter that harley i never D. had that's harley d uh so here we got so here we have hair like is ellie she's named after my mum wow. light-skinned woman always always like smiling she wow. had like a little afro yes, yes she had a little afro like mm -hmm. natural my mum didn't like and sometimes she would use like chemicals you know i don't know if you know about like the little wet look jerry yeah you like, said like, about that yeah <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like had that, and she was always a smiler, always. Her. That's why I chose like um Ellie because she was always like smiling. My mum was so 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 kind. You know when you get like somebody that's so kind, it's yes, unbelievable. Yes, yes. So that is why I um basically named the doll you know Ellie after my mum. Mm -hmm. Um and like I said, I've got like a third one called Honey, but Honey's unwell at the moment, Aww. and she represents a friend of mine called Yinka. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Now, I just want to say like. Like, so having someone like you open something like this is amazing because like I said growing up you never had these kind of dolls so it's good for the future and for little girls to see themselves in the house and play with something that looks like themselves absolutely so this is a good thing and I think most black people need to come down and support it's, I know it's a black establishment I don't know why it is that black people feel that they don't need to support other black I mean coming in asking for discounts like absolutely. just spend your money you go to Toys R Us you go and Sainsbury Tesco and buy dolls for much more money to so come in and just buy the doll exactly <laughs> I, I totally like agree but you'll get like some people that would say that you know always like a discount and we as black people why do we need to sell ourselves short yeah why do i have to like cut you know why would i have to give a discount i've got like rent to pay i need to pay yeah. myself yeah. no you're not even that expensive do you know how much it would be for that kind of doll in in Oh, and I, the thing about it, and I make the clothes myself. Yeah. I make them Handmade. myself. With I do it myself, and you know they cover like the whole of like you know the Caribbean, yeah. which I'm really really proud of. And not only that, I am so proud that now yeah. I'm on a platform, whereas I can like shout out and say, "Well, look, black dolls." Yeah. That's black it. dolls. That's I've it. got a doll that looks like me. Yeah. Whereas before, I'm just I'm just so happy how this has turned out because if I went back to if i was like 14 and asked myself would i be here definitely, definitely not. not yeah because yeah. my experience is like and my work ethic is like so um social care wow oh, wow you offend, you offended. we are gonna go into that okay so first off how long has this boutique been open for um, it's been open for about a year now. Okay, about right. Only about a year. It opened like yeah, Minerva Kids Boutique. Okay, and ha what's the inspiration? What was the inspiration behind opening up this this boutique? Well, I started off like in a car boot sale. That's how I started off. I started from the back of my car, um, because basically what I was doing, I was just doing like little hair accessories at first, mm -hmm. and then 
um, at the back of my car and um, life was good. Right. When I mean like life was good, I had like Monday to Friday job, nine to five. I worked like in social care, the youth offending office. I was a youth offending like officer. Mm -hmm. And then uh, things started to a bit like deteriorate. My mum started to become unwell. Uh. And then I lost my mum. Okay. And then when I lost my mum, I didn't have the shoppers yet. Mm -hmm. I still was doing like the car boot sale. Yeah. And basically what had happened, um, after that my dad had passed two years like after that then after that my brother had died which is the older brother and they, and they, the, my three best friends had gone and since then um you know my journey was like really 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 dark i was in a really really dark place yeah. and um i always wanted to have sort of like a business but i didn't know what form of business i wanted to have right and then one day i was passing here going to go and get a pate, where everybody knows they go like down the famous road, down Balls Pond Road, where everybody goes and get their Peppers and Spice. Peppers and Spice. <laughs> That's correct, Peppers and Spice. So I went down there like you do, and I stumbled across this shop, and I thought, oh, empty. Yeah. So I phoned up like you do, and I thought, there's no way I'm going to get it, because I always just feel like my cards were handed out the wrong. Yeah. I didn't have okay. a good deck of cards. Right. But the guy came down, I was telling him about it, then he goes to me, it's yours. I said to him, are you messing? I had to tell him, shut your face. <laughs> because I did not believe. Shut your face! I had to tell him, I said, yeah. I don't mean that, but I said to him, shut your face, is it really mine? And he goes to me, yes. So I got a shot, but I had no stock. Oh, no stuff. Oh, only the little accessories that I was selling from the car boot. So now the car boot compared to this size, it's totally not going to tally up. Yeah. So I started with just like one chair. <laughs> and not even a table, it was just like the chair. My table was the floor. Yeah. So then I started like ringing up, trying to get like people, ask them, oh, would you like um, to sell your stuff like in my store? Wow. People was like saying no. I was, you know, like Mary Joseph. They were saying no. <laughs> they shut the in. They shut the door you and the window. You see that? So when they did that, I thought, oh my, I've got to pay like the rent, what am I going to do? But the yeah. good thing is that I still had my job. Yeah, okay. So what I was doing, I was working Monday to Friday, and then at the weekends, I was opening up the shop. <laughs> but he wasn't making the money because... Yeah, yeah, you're not in a week selling, so okay. how? Yeah. So then how did I do that? So then I took a sabbatical from work, and I okay. said, look, I've got to make this work. It's either make it or break it kind right. of thing. Right. So for the next four to six months, I was just like working, getting people in. And then I was like basically begging people, oh, if you put it in here, da, 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 da. and I wasn't even charging nobody. That's to tell you I wasn't charging because nobody wanted to have anything to do with me because I wasn't like known. Interesting. I was not known at all. Now, <laughs> I've got to laugh now. Now the shoe's on the other foot. Yes, now. how much offer? I mean, I've got too much to offer, you know. <laughs> and I'm not even like Jamaican, but I have to say, yeah, yeah, too much to offer yeah. Now. Get in there, get in there. So the, the, the thing is like from then and then I started to get like other dolls that were apart like from the Monero dolls. I started to have like other dolls that was in here that uh -huh. were like representing like black. Right, right. So I thought that was good. Yeah. I thought I people were like buying it. Yeah. But then you know when you get like certain people and I know it's horrible to say black on black, another like supplier yeah. got too greedy. Ah that's right, darlings got too greedy so what the price that they were selling me the doll for at one price had changed so then I said oh wow so I said couldn't you do it cut it down they said like no because of this because of that so I said okay then a friend of mine thank you my darling <laughs> she came up with the idea by saying Manera you can sell these yourself you can go and go and get them where everybody go and get them yes China no no China <laughs> So um, my friend goes to me, well, you can go and go down there and get them. See them blah, kind blah, of blah. friends? I rate them kind right. of friends. I said yeah. to you, thank you. So then from the time I started to get the dolls, that's when I started to dress them differently. Yeah. So I thought, well, okay. This <coughs> one looks like my mum, which is like Ellie. She yeah. had her mouth open, always smiling. So then I started to dress her how my mum would like dress her with the old like wow, French Creole yeah. kind of cloth. Which this is it. This is like our Madras kind of cloth in Saint Lucia. Yes. So that's what the um, older generation will definitely identify with. Because yes. when I put her in the window, that's when I got my audience. Yeah. And I thought, wow, I'm onto something. I, I put her by herself and I was onto something. Wow. And then from there, I had like, you know, the older generation that who were in their 60s, in their 70s that were coming to the no. store. No. Yes. 
particularly to buy this kind of doll and it was just because of the cloth look at that and look I said wow I'm onto something then I thought well wow she reminds me of my mom and then that's when I created like Ellie and then I got Harley D because she's a little bit of my character yeah. and through my dark 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 journey my friend Yinka helped me she supported me and then that's when I thought Good you friend. know what Good friend. I'm going to name a doll after you. When I said that she couldn't, she was laughing. She goes, Sandra, who's going to go and buy a doll like after me? I said, I'm not going to name your name. I'm going to give it another name. Yeah. But your characteristics mm -hmm. is going to go through like the doll. Yeah. Honey is the number one selling. No. Honey is number one, then Ellie, and then Harley D. They all sell. See that hard work. Hard work. They all up. sell. But um, that is like how I sort of like started like with like the dolls. I make the clothes myself. The Wait, so the, you do you do clothes dolls, but do you do adult clothes as well? Make yes, I'm, start, okay. I'm starting to do that. Because what I did for a, a lady of a friend of mine, she wanted, uh, she came in, she bought a doll. Yeah. And then she goes, uh, Sandra, do you, do you think you can make one like for my daughter? <laughs> Oh, wow. So I thought, well, okay, I'll give it yeah. a try. So I matched the dress yeah. with the doll for her daughter. Not only that, she came back. Yeah. She wanted something for herself. Wow. So I made her a skirt. And for her husband, I put, like, the cloth on the cuff of the no. shirt. No. So, and they all went church. Look at I did. that. Okay, so let's talk about the name Monero. How did that come about? Oh, well, Monero is, like, my surname. And okay. it means, like, coin. Uh, it comes from like Spanish Portuguese okay. uh, because uh, in being like St. Lucia we got invaded like twice wow. so we got like the French and then obviously like the Spanish mm -hmm. and the surname comes from like on my grandmother's side right because my when they had like my dad as to speak my granny and my grandfather had yeah. my dad they wasn't married they got married after okay so in the Caribbean if you're not married you cannot take the father's name interesting yeah so the um, surname Monero comes from my grandmother surname because that's her maiden name right and it means money yeah it so means money, money will take this that's right yes. money Monero by the way that's right <laughs> money Wonga alright so I noticed that you push a lot of coloured dolls in the store yeah. you have got other races of dolls as well but yeah. you're pushing this what's the inspiration behind pushing this though is it coming from like childhood not seeing many black dolls in the household like where does it come from what what sweetheart all what you've just like said mm -hmm. yeah growing up i grew up like you know with barbie and yeah. i grew up like with cindy Same. and um when i grew up i wanted to have like blonde hair you know blue eyes but obviously i'm a black person yeah i've got brown eyes right and i've got like black hair but with cindy now seeing the difference between cindy and barbie Cindy can do ballet. Barbie was just like Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> so I said to my mum, I wanted to do ballet. So out of like not having blonde hair, blue eyes, yeah. three, you know, one out of like three wasn't too bad because my, I was allowed to go and do ballet. I was allowed to go and do dance class, right. which was like, which was really, really, really good. And which was a bit, I wouldn't say odd, but it was, you didn't get like back in those days, like in the 70s, you would not get that like as a black, like family. Because yeah. I was like born, and made like in Islington. Yeah. Islington. Islington. Yeah. Which is predominantly at them days that was quite a, 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 a white area. No, a, a, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And growing up um around that kind of area because we we're Catholic, it was like the majority was like Irish. Yeah. Because I went to like a Catholic like school and right. it was always like spot the black kind of thing. And mm. you did feel like I did feel a little bit like, well, you know, this is the colour of like my skin, but at the end of the day you know you don't you fit in but you don't yeah so growing up um and having like the dolls and now i'm in the platform whereas i can go out there and say well look hey yes i am black we do need like a doll to represent like children yeah. represent because me growing up i don't know if i'm psychologically damaged yeah i don't know but growing up I didn't have the opportunity to have a black doll Which because so there sad. was no black doll. But but, so basically, having a white doll in the house is definitely conditioning young girls to believe that they should actually be like that or idolise long hair with blue eyes. They see it already on um, Disney programmes and everything else. And then we're bringing it into the household. No, we need to give them more black dolls. Absolutely. I agree with where you're coming from. 100% because like with Barbie, Barbie only came out in 2017 for the fashionista. Right. And those are the black dolls were in 2019. I mean, yeah. Barbie was born, what, in 1959 or 1960? Wow, okay. It's and been they, a long time. And they only got rid of the Gollywog in 2003. 
So that's just to show you that we have, and I'm so proud and I'm just so happy yeah. that I'm part of like this movement, yeah. this journey. Well, well, you well before you it. started the movement, did you do any research to find out how much dolls are out there, um, ethnic dolls in like Toys R Us or anything like that? Because I remember when I looked for some, it was quite, there was none really, one off. So yeah. uh, did you do some research I, on that? You know, the thing about if by doing research, you'd, I was just like looking in the shops. If you want to call that research, well, yeah, because there was not, <laughs> nothing. there was nothing. I didn't even have to go and say, I'm going to go on Google and say that, well, is there any black dolls wow. about now? I could just go it's into still like that now to this yes. day. And I can even tell you something like a month ago. Yeah. A non-black individual female came into like this store yeah. and asked me why have i only got like black dolls in the window why ah! have i only got black dolls i was so shocked all i said to her was that because i can i wasn't going to be the angry black person by saying that yeah this is this has she and been to the stores and seen that we ain't no there ain't exactly. no black dolls anywhere can you believe is that what she said and well in 2019 and this happened last month november we're in december right yeah okay just to, wow. make, just to be clear, I could. I was like so shocked, and every time I told like a customer that, and a black customer, they said, "Oh, if it was me, I'd be doing this." I said, "No, because yeah. I'm not angry. Yeah. I know who I am. Yes, yeah. I'm black, and you know what? That's what they're a threat. It's like a threat because you know when all black people come together, we are just so beautiful. Yeah, you know, that's but that's when very rare. Together, very very <laughs> rare. Absolutely. Yeah. So I, I mean, so you said that to me. Your, your customers actually are um, not so much black. There's, there's no, a, no. There's a lot of customers that are from different races that are Absolutely. And what's wrong with you black people? I don't understand. Come here at this shop and buy a dolly. Yeah, <laughs> like Stop no, about but... discount. Yeah, it's simple. I don't know what's wrong. Support black businesses, support people. That's where us. we're going That's wrong. Support. That is where we're going wrong. Black people don't support black. You got all the Asians and everyone coming together and supporting, but black people never support their own. They and that is the do. problem. They Seriously, never they do. never do. Okay, so what are some of the challenges and faces you face as being a, a not even just a black, but an owner, being an owner of a business. What are some of the challenges that you faced with a business like this? Oh, the challenges. Where do I begin? The challenges is just like... Well, people know how to spend their money. That's, that's the one. <laughs> number one, that is it. You don't want to... They'll say everything, oh, this is great, what you're doing, good on you, sister, and everything. And when they come in and they say, like, yeah, your sister, you know, uh, auntie, whatever they want to call you, but they still want discount. <laughs> the problem that I'm getting is that I'm not getting a lot of like black people that are coming into this store. Would you put would it you... down to location? Because you are in Ballspoon Road, which is a bit more, it's a bit... Mm, no, because we're, we're on the corner of like Dalston. Yeah. Even though All this right. is Ballspoon Road, yeah. the borough of this shop yeah. is Islington. Right. But when you just go around the corner, it's Dalston. I really yeah. Yeah, Dalston Market. <laughs> You get your fruit and vegetables just round the corner. Not yeah. people. So there. what? Imagine. What happened? Yeah. yeah. So, so, so would you put it down to promotion? Would you put it down to? I mean, you're online. You're in, on Instagram. Do you have a website? Like, where can people find? Well, you can obviously find me here, twenty six A Balls Pond Light Road. Yeah. I've got my Instagram at Monero. So has Monero it been Dolls. more word of mouth when people are finding you? It's right definitely now. word of mouth, and okay. lately I've been liking like the newspapers for the right reasons and right. not being like the angry black woman. Yeah. So by doing that, people go, "Oh my God, I've seen you! I've seen you!" <laughs> yeah, you see me, but you're still not coming in the shop to buy. And they said, "Oh, we need this. We need this for like our children and stuff." But the good thing as well, I've taken it a step further. Right. Because within like the London borough of like Hackney, I do workshops at I Young was going to ask about that yeah what was, what's that all about <laughs> yeah so they got they obviously like contacted me um and they asked me if I can come and do like some workshops is that based on dressmaking or is dress it on making. Right. dressmaking mm -hmm. and also on identity because the dolls come in different color tones and they have different texture of hair so they don't just come in dark black they no, come in like, every light different. skin red what? skin they have dolls like with like freckles we have dolls that's got like short hair yeah people don't know that black people that come in all different shapes and sizes and, and color and different <laughs> kind of like hairstyles that like you know yeah. that we have and stuff yeah. like that so all of that so we talk about like working together right we talk about like different color tones yeah and um the good thing about it is well i even have boys in like my workshop what is it? yeah and they're age from from six to twelve year olds right and it's just like amazing because i will ask them okay well, why are you here oh oh um this doll represents like my mom they may not say represent wow. but they say this doll looks Look like that. my mom which is good because I don't want to say why it's good, but it's good that black boys can see black doors in a home too. Because I think that 
also conditions them, and that's why a lot of black men are not dating us. I'm just I'm saying, saying no. hashtag just not, saying, I'm <laughs> doing that one, darling, hashtag just let's saying. Let's not get, that. that's for another day. That, that's another yeah. day, another, another <laughs> chapter. That is definitely another like, chapter. No, but, um, okay, so um, I was going to say, so apart from that, in terms of going forward, where do you see Monero Boutique oh in the next five years? Oh my gosh, the next five years, what I definitely want, and I'm aiming, and, I, and I'm just yearning. Come on, you can do it, you can do it. I want to be in Westfield. What? I want one big big out shop whereas I can, see it. I can have it's either Monero Kids Boutique or Monero Kids or it's going to be Monero's Toy Store um definitely next year well next year's just around the corner I want to do like a fashion show hopefully wow. I'll be doing like a fashion show I want to be there um, of course you're there my darling <laughs> I want to do like a fashion show that represents like black individuals black dolls wow. so you can come as like you know you can just like your I doll i'm also going to be like making like the clothes yeah, yeah. so they can represent um individuals yeah. the boys and the girls nice. my dolls i must say that they're in hackney museum right now as we oh speak that's not the childhood one but i'll be working on that bethnal green don't worry in the tate gallery yes i'm coming <laughs> but it's the hackney museum in reading lane number one reading lane they've been there from october wow. this year and they want them for indefinitely can you really yes this the was someone that had nothing in her shop you know so now she's boot sale. everywhere car <laughs> boot sale. And, See? And, and that is what Look i want that. so when i'm gone yeah, Sandra Venera, the dolls will live on, and that is yeah. the most exciting thing, like for me, because they still want it in the museum. Yes, I do workshops in the museum as well. Wow, I do workshops. So, there. so, so you front the store as well. So you're the CEO, and you front. So you're the one here selling, and you don't have other staff. No. Nope. Do I do everything yourself? myself. I sell. Wow. I do the production. I'm my social media. I'm my accountant. You name it, I'm that. I love that. I, that. That is me. It's Team Monero. Team, Team Black Sandra successful Monero. women out here. Yeah, we, 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 we do exist. Look, I can pinch myself. I'm real. I'm real. Listen, I'm so happy that you came on my show today. No, I, I'm like... loving it. I love you. You are oh, just I'm like no, a stop. breath of This girl is good. <laughs> right, so where can we find you? Instagram. Right, my Instagram is at Monero Kids Boutique. The dolls have their own Twitter as well, yeah. at Monero Dolls. They also have their own Instagram. Can you Please mean? watch out for my website because it's coming soon. It is coming. Soon, yes. We might see Monero movies and stuff. You oh, wouldn't that, be cool. Cool. Oh. wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that be cool? And the dolls, don't worry. I'm hopefully, that'll be making them like talk and walk yeah. and oh my and God, stuff like that. Imagine. I'm going to make a Monero brand and I am looking you for brand do. ambassadors. Wow, I'm okay. looking for brand Get ambassadors. Get in touch. Get in touch. And I'm looking for models. Yes. And I'm talking about men i'm talking about boys i'm talking about mothers i'm talking about like yes, daughters mothers, so because i yes. want it as a family affair yeah. so that what, what, what message can you give to anyone that wants to start up a business like you maybe they just got a car boot um boot so they want to transition like you did like what advice can you give to someone that wants to start something up or do it do follow it. your dream when people tell you no just keep on following your dream. That's all I can say. And also that like, I'm here as well because I give individuals a platform. Wow. And when I mean like the platform, so you can sell your stuff here, yeah. make your money. And, you know, like I always say, there's a cake. Yeah. And that everybody can take a slice from that That's cake. It. I don't want to be greedy and yum the whole cake myself. Yeah, yeah. Everyone can have a slice. But when like you say they can come and bring things in, so so what then? If they're just selling food, they can come in there. No, like... not food, clothes. <laughs> clothes. Yeah, clothes. Uh, what? Clothes or toys. Yeah. Or other, like, merchandise. That's it. You can bring the food for me to taste. I can be your teeth chaser. <laughs> I don't mind in that. I, I, you can bring the food. Bring yeah, the food. yeah. Come, bring the food, come. <laughs> I want it. Bring it. All right, guys. Well, that was me at the Monero Boutique in Bullsman Road. I'm urging everyone to come down and come and spend your money. I mean, it's not even that expensive. Come down and just buy a doll or two. So, thank you so much. Thank you, my Thank darling. you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you next time. doll that I'm about to purchase right now and it's gonna stay on my key I'm representing and it looks like me but kind of <laughs>